We have currently a couple of trainings uh, that we do in classrooms um, and we were lacking the practical experience um, of the training. Um, the difficulty is, is to get on the ramp or to get on the tarmac to train people. The most effective way to learn is through experience. In live operations it's very difficult to show people what can go wrong and how you can mitigate. Everything is smooth and operations run in a very safe uh, way. So you don't have the chance to show them actually what can go wrong. I think what we have seen is that it needs to be um, a complement to a, a, a training or to a situation which is very operational. Having the ability to have access to a virtual airport at any time, at any conditions, any weather conditions or lighting, you can do training during night, during uh, day, uh, low visibility. The environment that the trainee or participant is, is exposed to is very immersive and definitely more realistic than ever before. Also what is uh, very important for training is that people are living the training and they are really experiencing the uh, operations and so it gets ingrained in their mind much more than the usual classroom. And also I think with the use of technology we can, we can definitely improve how they actually learn and actually acquire knowledge. So we bring uh, the tarmac into the classroom. In the virtual environment you can replicate errors, issues that we know in the industry and you can do it several times without affecting any real operation, any uh, real equipment. Studies have shown that introducing virtual reality into training can definitely significantly improve the retention rate of knowledge acquired in a training program. For example, reinforcing uh, what may be theoretical training with uh, an immersive environment such as virtual reality actually puts the participant or student into an environment which will make them forget the experience a lot less. Staff feel more engaged in the training because they get to actually participate and, and feel the environment that they are actually going to be working in uh, more closely than ever before. Um, so, so the first impression when we are, we are uh, demoing VR is the fact that uh, everybody reacts the same way with the kind of wow, it's the, the wow effect of, of, of this product. We are looking at um, all the modules than the uh, two current modules that we have. We have one on uh, aircraft uh, turnaround inspections and one on uh, marshalling. Um, but we, we believe that we could have um, different trainings around uh, the acceptance. Uh, for example, the acceptance of dangerous goods where we could simulate various cases uh, of acceptance, be it radioactive products or, or lithium batteries. As IASA, we develop standards for the aviation industry and in doing so, we actually make full use of our knowledge of the industry but also of the new technologies that come into the market in order to implement them as widely as possible throughout the industry to increase efficiency as well as to reduce costs for, for our members.